If you are not able to have control and discipline in your own house and life, I do believe it's very difficult to have control and discipline in your trading. It's more difficult, it takes you longer. If you are not able to control yourself as a, as a person, you will be more difficult to control yourself as a trader. What's up traders, welcome back to another trader interview. Today we're discussing another platform like we've done a few weeks back. As I said then, my goal with the podcast is to be able to teach you things about trading, but also to give you ways to get funded if you're looking for capital right now in your trading career. The platform we talk about today is quite more popular than some of the other ones we talked about before. The name of that platform is City Trader Imperium. And a lot of you guys have been asking about reviews of that platform, you've been asking about the rules and whether it makes sense for that platform or not. So I wanted to interview the founder here, Daniel Martin, and you'll be able to hear from him directly about what his platform looks like, what they do, what differentiates themselves, and whether or not it's a good platform for you to go with. As I want you have any question about this platform or this video, make sure you comment below in the comment section. I'll be happy to look at your comment and reply to your comment as always. So without further ado, let's start right in the interview. Daniel, tell people who you are and a bit of background about yourself. Well, I kind of started, so when I started trading, uh, it was in 2000, uh, I came to London. Um, I started trading uh, in 2002 because my, well, my son was born. So it's actually come up a friend of mine. I was looking for, for jobs everywhere. I didn't speak English. I decided to work out a strategy that make me money. But at that time, it just actually was not have a clue about anything. Uh, only I got a friend of mine that actually came to me and said to me, if you want to make money on the market, you should buy stocks, spend 500 pounds. You can make some money on Rolls Royce, things like that. That was the first stock. And I didn't have money for computer, no internet, no knowledge. Uh, I, got I got dyslexia, so I got struggled to read uh, until I discovered the audiobooks. So this is my big, big, I read books as many as I can. <laughs> so is that this, um, and this, um, I did, I struggled a lot to be able to become profitable. That took me almost six years. And then from that, I start to, I didn't have the second problem that even if I start to be profitable, I didn't have money to trade. And even when I have, I have a good track record with the small amounts, it was insignificant from companies. And they didn't give me the chance to work in with them because I was old, because I was not, uh, didn't pay for the courses, because so on. This makes the big difference for, for, for people like, like me that was a struggle then a lot. Then I have to have always two jobs, working for others and, uh, and working for myself uh, at the same time as a trader. So I get as, as a point that I was able to, to start to make more consistent money, more big, big I was half actually in the normal job, nine to five, I got better jobs. And then I got more money and then I can be able to trade more and more and more. So, and then at one point I stopped working uh, on, uh, on my, my routine job in 9 to 5 and I became a full-time trader. Then it's uh, 2011, I decided to, um, to start teaching others uh, because I just heard people say, if you start teaching others, you can improve even more, to get beyond your limits, to so actually to see what you get perfection on your trades. So at that point, I was thinking about that, but then I saw that the idea really motivate myself is actually to teach others, to help them, to be able to, to make their life easier. So that's why I created then City Traders Imperium on 2012, 2013 was the days when I was started thinking about it. And I met Martin uh, Najat, who was an, as a student of mine. And then we decided to create a company together. So we just approach him. We just actually use our own capital. We just uh, find as many traders as we can, teach them. Or if you got a, already have a knowledge, you can come in and actually use an evaluation account from us. And so on, pretty much it's just uh, looking for profitable traders. And as many as we can test it, perfect. So that's just our main target. So uh, the idea is for the future, as soon as we got enough, uh, we'll be calling golden traders, mean profitable traders, that they're going beyond certain amount of money. We're looking for at least they may be going for three hundred thousand. Those traders that are doing well, we're going to move into a potential hedge fund for next year. So this is our target. So obviously, hedge fund is totally different because we are an education company at the moment and a pro firm, um, which means it's a big, big, big step up. So we don't know if we will manage to do it next year straight away, but that is our plan. So we need traders coming in, say hi to us. We try to help you. One of the things we really do, very important, is that. We do not actually teach our own strategies. Uh, we try to actually to make them to thinking by themselves and create their own strategies, which make it uh, more, um, based on my experience, more profitable orientated that actually yourself try to copy me or copy anybody. I know that you do have fantastic strategy. Another trader got a fantastic strategy. You may see or may not see what actually that trader does, but the idea is that you find, find something what you're looking for what you see, and then you're just looking for the community that actually trading the same strategy that you do. 
obviously what I do is mentor people. So I just try to give it the guidelines to move it into the right direction. So, and that's how we're working on forward at the moment. It's doing well. And uh, since the coronavirus, we're just not able to meet anybody. <laughs> we're just working from, uh, from home and teaching people from online that is not the same. Uh, I prefer to meet people one-to-one. It's a big difference, but uh, that's how we're working so far. Mm-hmm. Interesting, yeah. Like you mentioned, I found for sure that people that you just maybe learn a strategy that we do and then they, they tweak it a little bit, that's how they can get better results. It's by adjusting it to themselves and how they do things. It's much better than just copying something. But before that, uh, it's something very, very important that we, we got in as a principle of our companies, we're teaching 95% of our education is psychology. 4% money management and 1% that strategy that we mentioned. And the majority of traders, they spend big amount of time bigger than anything, on a number of hours they spend it on the strategies that they don't realize that the psychology is the most important part of to be able to, to start trading. Myself, as an example, I wake up every day at five, and before I start trading, I already passed two hours or three hours before I start trading. So I start trading at six, seven, or even at eight because I go my meditation, my running, my whatever I have to do at the kendo. Uh, I do a lot of things in the morning to just only concentrate on my mind and my body to get ready to trade. That's how I think other people should do. And um, you should concentrate on your psychology and that then you need to synchronize of what you see and put it together. That's how it works. So it's like a psychology has to be synchronized with your strategy and your strategy with the psychology. It's like a, it's just, if you know, it's like a elastic band pushing in and out and then you adjust it the way you're thinking, your, your risk tolerance, your ideas, you're just working out. You want to have be, more time, maybe you create an EA, to have more time that you got, uh, want to have a better, if you want to try something different, you can try obviously something different, but you need to meet your criteria of psychology. That is the most important thing. So, what was your motivation for starting a platform? What made you want to do that? First, well, my main motivation, personal motivation, I want to be uh, what they call a legendary trader. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just like a, if you actually teach a, many people to be a professional traders and to be successful in the market, then you can actually, uh, if I'm the teacher of many people, very good, means I must be better. So it's like a Warren Buffett got a teacher. So who is more important, Warren Buffett or the teacher? So both, they are actually equal. But if you imagine that you are the teacher, you create 20 Warren Buffetts. So then I feel that I will feel more proud of myself to be able to help others that way. So that's how I'm thinking is that is, uh, I've been a struggle a lot to be able to be a profitable trader. From the perspective of education, money management, money in my pocket, all these kind of things that you can imagine that every one of us we're going through, losing money, all this stuff, this is crazy. And you need to pay your bills, so you got kids to feed and all this stuff that you need to work in through to be able to make money. And mentally, it's, when you lose, it's just it's too much. It's way too much. Some people cannot cope with that, without the stress. So put all that together, I went to other, other companies and I saw that those companies, they don't provide education as... I was expected to see, like you just teaching the best of you can. And also there was a lot of people who struggled to make money on the market. So, and I was thinking, well, but that trader is a profitable trader. They say they're going to you and you start teaching them and they make good money from you, but uh, because they copy you, but not all of them will be able to understand how you really trade the inside out and all the feelings and all the ideas behind and all those many hundreds of hours you spend on that particular strategy. Yeah. So you need to be uh, a bit more flexible with those ones that don't actually see what you see to be able to then the flexibility to break whatever they actually their needs are based on their psychology. Um, that's just actually myself took me into uh, to create a program to actually help others uh, to be able to provide my ideas of psychology, my idea of money management, and my ideas of technical analysis, how, what is actually what you see. So we create the 12 principles of our company and I start with psychology and I end up to, with the money management our plan. So, yes. So are you able to identify a few things that help you become profitable in trading? The click, the switch uh, from, from non being profitable to be profitable is just to follow the rules. Which rules? Psychology rules, uh, any rules that you create for a strategy. Uh, it's just actually that simple. But the most important thing I would say is control and discipline. If you do have control and discipline with yourself, then you can control your psychology. You need to sleep well, you need to do your, or the needs, things that you actually control yourself and be rational. 
So to be able to do that control, maybe you have to do martial arts. Uh, you need to do any other activities that give you control and discipline to be able to do what you have to do. So if you're not able to have control and discipline in your own house and life, I do believe it's very difficult to have control and discipline in your trading. It's more difficult. It takes you longer. If you're not able to control yourself as a, as a person, you will be more difficult to control yourself as a trader. And that is one of the main things. It's like a control discipline. I would say the main principle would say control discipline and follow the rules. I would keep it with these three points. Yes. I want to know more about City Trader Imperium. So you are funding traders. And what would you say make that company different from other companies that fund traders? Well, and, and uh, the difference from us to other companies, that is that um, we do, obviously, we provide money. We're looking for the best interest for our traders. We actually, any question they ask to us, it can be answered, no problem. We actually accepted any strategies. But the only thing we do have restrictions is with our, our 4% drop down. We are very strict to that. Um, because obviously if you can, if you can actually don't, if you cannot control your 4% drop down, how are you going to control it when we give you bigger amounts? Because first we take the first step we, with the risk is taken by, by a, the next steps will be taken by us. So it means any, any levels that you're going up on money, if we give you more money will be actually in our pockets loss. And that is actually, uh, we need to actually, to be able to, uh, to work that out. But, uh, I think this question I didn't answer properly. <laughs> Uh, so what will be the difference between us and other companies is um, that we try to help other people as our best interest for them. That's how I would say that's the best answer to be clean and clear. Yeah, we try to be the best of the best of anyone who's coming to us. We do our best to be and to be profitable and to move forward with us. That's the most important thing. And what does it take to be funded? What does the process people have to go through to get the capital? To be funded is uh, we actually always... We, we cannot advise because we are not, not regulated. We are not FCA regulated. So the main thing we do actually to give in to people is to, uh, is to ask for them to at least to be able to be traded before somehow half a year. They go on a strategy. You know how to do it. This is what you're doing. Don't start trading with us if you don't have any clues. There's still people that insisted to, to provide to us their evaluations account to start trading with us. And we still telling them not to do it because it's wasting their time. Um, and that is not, the, we don't believe in demo accounts, for example, which means if people testing themselves in a demo before they come into us, then it's rather to actually to working with us on the real accounts, make money or not make money and working on that way. But the most important thing is that is just uh, have control on what they're doing with us. So that means people have to have a track record from six to 12 months and they send you the track record. And then what, what else does it take to be able to get funded? Is that all or is there something else? Well, is that is actually, in some cases, we saw that some people, they are a bit uh, um, anxious or they got a bit, uh, uh, you can see that they got problems of trading, psychological problems. You can see that they, they talk to, you, to us and they say, uh, I've been lost 20,000, I need to trade, I need another, another one. And I want to trade again. And you can see that it's kind of a gambling orientation of. So we tend to stop those people uh, to, to don't come into us and say, well, make yourself stable, you know, working on, your, on yourself. We can actually offer them psychology uh, exercise with me. And sometimes actually I take it, I just take a student for, for free. Just talk to them, say, okay, let, let me explain to you how this works. Let me explain to you who you are. Explain to you to me, to who you are, and we can work in together that way to see how I can help you. To be honest, the, the main thing to be able to, to come with us, if you actually got uh, ideas clear of your strategy, six months, three months, is, is, is good enough. You say, I've been trading for two years, one year. That's, that is more than enough. Profitable or not, some people want to test us. Uh, we cannot actually say the not to, but we advise not to. Because it's, uh, if you are not profitable in a demo, how are you going to be profitable in a real? So that's how we try to go through. But it's difficult for us to say no to them. Uh, we try to, the majority of them, we just stop them, but some people, they actually insist that that is there and I can buy that and I want to go into it. So um, it's, uh, we got cases of people that have, have lost uh, three times consecutive. Uh, we stop them. It's like, yeah, look, you, just, uh, you need to go back to education, you know, go back to demo, work in yourself first, uh, your ideas, get clear in your mind, and then come back to us and we can help you that way. But is that... Um, and as I say always, uh, oh, many of them have been actually offering myself for free. Talk to them. Okay, talk to me about your strategy. How do you think? How, talk to me about your psychology strategy. So this is like uh, some people, they don't have that in their journalists. 
and that's the way we can move forward with them yes interesting so that sounds more flexible than most platforms where you allow people to not completely fall if they happen to fail one month or something so that is good we do as well we do two more things is that uh We provide two more things that other companies that don't, as I think they don't. Uh, we tried, we say we got the limiters of uh, 12 months of the valuation. So they can spend 12 months with us, even more. So we say 12 months to give you a big, it's a big time. But if you need more than 12 months, we reevaluate that situation and we can give you more time. So there is a, that's just a very important part of that uh, our firm is not, we don't actually try to limit your abilities to, to work out. As soon as you got into the, into the, um, the, the next level up or past your evaluation, as well, you go much more flexibility from us of rules. Except the money management rule, you go more flexibility, how you trade, how you do your stuff. And, and we obviously, obviously, we pay you every month as well. Every time you make any salaries, any, any money from the company, you're going to get paid monthly, even if it's one pound. Well, it has to be two pounds because it's 50-50. So if it's two pounds, we give you one pound each. So even that. Interesting. And do you provide any support to people after they've passed the devaluation? Do you kind of have them or coach them a little bit so they keep respecting the rules or are they on their own after the challenge? So now what we're doing actually after the challenge, we're still there with them, follow them, as, as, as become more like a, a then a half inter, normal interview with them to talk to them what actually, how they feel to go to the next level and how the, the, the psychology is to actually to money more money. So it's good. It's important for me to go that point of, um, And that is, uh, that's, that's the key element. So actually to make sure they are um, psychology ready to trade with more money. On top of that, one of the things I do, and this is actually because I say before, we are looking for the interest of people, not for uh, pretty much, uh, if, they are, if they are profitable, we're going to be profitable. If we, we are not profitable, we're not make money. So the, the idea is that first things first, we need to look for, one of the things I say, if you do make money with us, let's say you got uh, 300,000, and you make 20,000, 10,000 is for me, 10,000 is for you, I rec we strongly recommend it, that you take your 10,000 pounds and place in an account that is 100% profitable to you. So not to actually to, obviously you need the money, you take the money for living, you take it. But if you don't need the money for living, you normally take that money and place it in another account, you make 100% of you. Because you, on the, the, for me, my target is that they make money as much possible. This is a transition for me with them to make it profitable and get used to, to trading from small amounts to big, to big amounts and as well with the money management rules. One thing I found a little bit funny with all these platforms that kind of pop up recently is the fact that you see what they are in based on the fee structure they have. Some platforms, they have a monthly fee, which means that they care mostly about retaining members and having them pay monthly. Some traders, some platforms, they care more about having profitable traders, which seems to be your case because you don't make money with them when you have the evaluation process. You make no money with that. You make money with the what people are trading after that. So it shows that you, you're committed more to be helping traders after. Yes, I believe that is actually a good uh, way of, if you, if you do, I've been, have cases that I've been teaching before for free. And I saw that there is this motivation for people to come in even to have the classes because it was hot that day. I cannot come in on Friday. I want to have for a party. So I was, I was waiting for three people to come in over, you know, and there was nobody came. So these cases happened to me. I was teaching for free to get people coming with me together, moving together forward to create a big company. Because alone as a trader, yes, you can actually be a big company, but on then you need a team, you need more people. Even maybe you and me, we start working together, we create a bigger company. So that's just like a how can be working better. It's like a join with other traders that have the same principles. So I did follow that. I was looking for people to join, join me. It seems to be that I was not working because there was no interest on. It was missing the interest of, there is no money, I don't need to pay. Uh, it's not interesting me to, to go into it. So we still actually are teaching people uh, right now, one-to-one, um, -one, and normally they are pretty, they're the most profitable ones I have uh, compared with other people coming from the other firms or they're coming from other companies and join us uh, or anybody that coming to join us to come into, they got good records, they're coming to trade with us. And is uh, my traders and the other traders coming too. It's kind of, uh, we actually have a good track record of good traders because the psychology is my main thing and they're doing well. Now, uh, say that is that one of the things that we think is very important is to get uh, people uh, kind of competing each other on that sense. Uh, competition is good for them. From the traders, you've seen that either didn't pass the challenge or didn't get in the platform. What is the thing that they do wrong, most of them? Psychology. Psychology. Many, many of the people, they even don't realize they do have a, uh, a very good strategies that they really like it, 
because that's what they see something that they like it, but they don't know how to manage that. And then, then they actually start to looking for another strategy and another strategy and another change of my strategy. And this one just doesn't work. Or maybe what who didn't work was you. So even back testing for me is very important. When you do back testing, some people take it less seriously. And I have to say to all my students, I have to be very serious. You need to actually to create a routine. So you do your routine in the morning, whatever is that routine, have an idea, what you're going to do in life, get all those principles in the morning, get the main, why I'm going to trade, what is the main reason I'm going to trade. Then when you go all that completed, you do your back testing. If that day you wake up very late because you're coming from a party and you don't feel well for any other reasons, you got something in your head, it doesn't work too well. <laughs> so the best thing to do is actually don't even do back testing because it will produce wrong information to you. It will not work out well. You will see something different. And that's actually very important. You need to create a stage of trading. And it's trading now. And in front of my computer, I create my routine. I go my, my papers. I got my, uh, my Buddha. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so it's just that uh, I got all my stuff that I need to have uh, to be able to, to trade. This is, people, they don't realize that the most important thing is 100%, well, 95%, because 100 to, it will be too much, is psychology. Because you go 4% of money management that involves psychology. And then you go 1% of technical analysis that involves psychology. So that's simple. Control yourself on the daily life. You can control yourself as a trader. Those are good words. And it's funny you mentioned this because I see people that do a back test and then they have really, really good results. Then they move to either they're more alive and the results are really bad. It's not because the market changed, but I think it's because they couldn't trade like their back test for some reason. So it's, it's just, it, it, you just got the answer. Exactly. You just say for that some reason is that because they didn't actually emulate, they didn't do the, the actually the, the pretending that I'm going to trade for real. You need to pretend that you're going to do it for real. Backtesting is not a joke. It's very important. When you do backtesting, uh, you're thinking that you're trading fake money yeah, on demo accounts. But if you actually use your imagination and you're thinking it's real money, what will we make the difference from it? Thinking it's a real money. Thinking that way. Thinking that if you lost, you lost the day. Thinking that you didn't make money that day. Yeah. So follow the rules. Don't go for a party. Don't get hammered. Don't get drinks. Ah, no, I do some tears now because after the half uh, fish and chips and half uh, <laughs> a few beers, I'm going to start to do some back testing here. No, just make it properly. Sit down properly. I'm going to make money. I'm going to follow the rules. So that's just a, one of the things, obviously, when I say I go to, to make money, I'm thinking about people don't think about money. Think about percentage. You mentioned a little bit about your routine before. Can you go into more details of what I involve, like the, the, the preparation part and the training part and the after training part, what it, what it looks like? Okay, so I wake up at 5, uh, Monday to, to Sunday, upset Saturday, I wake up at 7. Uh, I try, tend to go to bed uh, 9 to 10, always, uh, to wake up to actually to sleep proper hours. Uh, of ten. I need those hours for me. Some people, they are different type of hours. That's what I need. Uh, then uh, from 5 to... Five to six, uh, normally I do meditation. Uh, I try to tend not to actually to touch the computer or the phone. Uh, I, 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 tend, I try to. It's difficult. It's tentative. Uh, then actually I go for a run one hour. Uh, normally it's one hour, half an hour. This is about that time. And then I go for, again, meditation. And the breathing exercise before I go for a, for a cold water or actually a bath of water cold. Only all this is actually to make me wake up. I don't drink coffee. Uh, just actually have something to wake me up and I go into cold, very freezing water pretty much. Um, then I'm ready. I go to my computer. Well, I dress up like, a, like I'm going to go to an office, even if I'm at home. Uh, I dress up properly, <laughs> sit down my place, and then I go a checklist of things to do, of my rules to be followed before I'm going to trade. First rule number one, follow the rules. For rule number two, well, rule number well, I go rule a new, I go a new rule for the last three years is read the rules. <laughs> so that's number one. So then we just follow the rules and continue that way on and on. So you go money management, you entry, da, 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 da. Uh, but the most important thing, I got one po very important one there in between. They say, are you ready to trade? Then yes, then you go entry, then you go in. Now that's not enough for me, and I got as well. If I have to touch the trades again on the day. I go a mini checklist and I say to myself, it's a very small checklist, say, are you ready to trade? Are you feel okay? Can you actually manage what you're going to do? Are you going to touch the trades? You're going to do something wrong with it? Don't take it, you know? It's like, a don't do anything if you do, don't feel right. Because you did already your analysis in the morning. 
So I got that to me because it's, it, it's actually affecting me. It's, uh, uh, for me as a trader, uh, if I got during the day, maybe you got problems with family, kids, uh, anything happen with traders, whatever happened, and you got something in the head and you're not concentrate enough to be on the trade and you can behave irrational. So I questioned that to myself and I got the che checklist with me, just a piece of paper like that uh, with my strategy, <laughs> with all the levels. Let me see, let me show you. Uh, let me see it. So that's my strategy. Yeah. And I just always follow with me with all my principles, all my ideas, and I got a checklist on my Excel to make sure I did follow all the rules. And that's it. This is uh, my daily routine. After that, after nine uh, each, I stopped trading. Uh, and then I just uh, waiting for, come back maybe on the US market open or the close of the US market to see if there is all the other all possibilities. I'm looking for volatility. And as a, because I'm a reversal trader, it tend to be that there's not too many trades. Uh, these days is a lot more than other days because we just got a lot of movements in the markets. Everything is switched from A to B. It's changed direction. So then I got a lot of opportunities, but generally I don't have that. It's just normally I got maybe three trades a week, two trades, one trade. So obviously I don't trade only reversals. Then I go into continuations and all the way up to, and do normally, apparently I do Elliott waves. That's what they say to me uh, based on, I didn't know. That's just like something that I discovered later. I was first, I was looking for a pattern. I did like it. And apparently it's an Elliott wave uh, movements. And I looked trade anything from re re retracements to uh, three, three patterns that I got as well. Just, I don't know if you heard about symmetrical triangles. I love that one because uh, your risk reward can be quite high. Uh, normally it's a continuation for symmetrical triangles, the one I really like the most. And um, yeah, I just got, uh, that's how, that's how I work my daily routine pretty much. The rest of the day, just, enjoy life one thing you mentioned that that i really relate with because that helped me a lot in the past is checklist so that's something that really made a big difference for me a few years ago even these days on some things like having a process you follow and some things you check over time and then you go through the process really helps a lot exactly so this is one of the things i can advise for traders that have been trading for a long time as well is that when you have too much knowledge yeah you will face uh, um problems of your entry uh, of when you got so many, so if you got, because you got so many, I got 273 strategies. And my main ones are two. Well, because I trade uh, any, any entries, continuation, reversals, uh, a, a range, all this stuff at the same time, then I become to have too many entries, which actually can be affect my entry and entry. <laughs> so I need to be careful with that because you confuse, can be confused strategies with each other. So just as a advice that's a stick to one or two strategies and move to another one if it's needed if it doesn't work those ones, because the other way you just get, you can have entries every single day, which actually is, is easy to do and move on that way, yes. What's your process to evaluate your trades or review your performance? For my, myself, normally on Mondays, what I do is actually, Sundays and Mondays actually analyze the weekly and daily levels. I pretty much is actually all the uh, supplies and demand and uh, uh, resistance and support levels. Uh, I start with those levels, see what actually the market is. Even if I haven't seen, have seen that in a week, basics, every week, I'm still looking at it again, the same charts. Again, even if I have get my conclusion, it's going to be long for a month or two months, I still go back to the same charts, review again, the same levels, I'm looking into that. Then the daily, to see more a perspective uh, uh, overview of what's going to happen this week. Then I'm looking for what is going to be the news, means what news is going to happen this week. And then I will select the best trades to work on. So, for example, this week, I just working on dollar cut long and I look working on cable short. Uh, based on my expectations, I uh, expected that will be drop a lot cable and dollar cut will be moving high up as well. But we do have news tomorrow and that may affect the, the market, may not. So, but I'm looking into those risk reward in there with the dollar weakness, strength. So, it's moving a lot. There's a lot of volatility in those two pairs. Uh, so, I choose those ones. Um, an interesting maybe in the euro dollar. It's quite uh, as well something maybe working on, but it's pretty much uh, doing the analysis. Um, uh, Sunday and Monday, uh, Monday to Friday, uh, I try to take trades. Normally, Monday I don't take many trades. If it's happen, is in the evening. If it's actually before the, the the New Year close, then I go my trades. Normally, I heavily trade on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday. If there is big news, yes, I will trade. If not, I do the analysis of the whole week of my trades. I will actually go through all my trades and see what happened with them, which one made my mistakes, how to improve, which I follow the rules, no, 100%, yes or no. And so my psychology was in place and anything to be improved, anything to be done, I keep going that way. And that's maybe if I improve 1% a week, 
Wow, nice. I love that. So anything that can be improved, perfect. Then on Sunday, again, Saturday is my day off. I don't like it because market is closed. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Sunday is open. Uh, and this is, I cannot wait to open as, uh, as to start to analyze the market again at 6-7. Again, weekly, daily levels and moving on. Sometimes I do monthly levels, but that's only once every six months or something like that on my checklist. Interesting. I like to hear the process because traders have fairly different routines, but they always come back to kind of being similar at the same time. So it's interesting. Nice. Nice. Very good. So what would you recommend people that want to apply to City Trader and Premium? They want to get funded, but they're not quite ready yet to be funded. What would you recommend to, to work on? Well, they got two choices. One of them is actually coming to, to me for, uh, for advice to actually to help them to give them the best guidelines possible. Uh, obviously, if they, if they do have, uh, just always, you know, always in the interest of everyone, if they do have all the companies they want to look into it, I will not talk about other companies, but, you know, because that's not ethic. Uh, but obviously, I can actually advise if it's a good idea to go to that one or not. But the most important thing I would say that you, the best advice I can give you is that start to uh, control, uh, to look in for books of psychology. Psychology books? Oh, well, actually, no, let me tell you what is the best advice I can give you to anybody that's coming in, to be simple, is actually to get one book. Read the book for Mark Douglas, Trading in the Zone. That book was telling me why I was a, tra a profitable trader. I didn't know, and I found that book. So I recommended that you actually, anybody actually don't know what to do, read that book first. I know that will be, an it will be question that cannot be answered because you never trade before. Try to guess, try to do your best. Even if they, you never trade before, go for it to thinking what will be this, the, the logical approach to those questions because there is, there is a survey on that book that you should do it uh, the 30 questions read the book and then do the questions again so if you do that process you will be able to understand what was before and after and need to be honest as well with your answers that will help you a lot to be able to move forward as a trader when you understand that book very carefully it's not about to read the book it's about to study the book yeah I definitely agree with that for sure that's a book that changed me a lot and it's funny because the first time I read it, I didn't understand much. I was like, uh, it's just a boring book. But the second time I read it, I understand a lot. So it, it's something you don't get if you're not experienced a, a little bit. But over time, you can get a lot from that book, for sure. It's, it's quite deep. It's quite deep. If you actually read, after me, read it more than, I don't know, 20 times, I yeah. still get some parts that say, oh, I didn't realize this. It was here. Okay, so it's <laughs> like, it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting book. Awesome. I really, really like it. Excellent. So where can people find you if they want to connect with you or reach out after the interview? What can they connect with you? So the best thing to do is actually to send a message to info at City Traders Imperium and refer to me that is uh, Daniel Martin that I would like to actually to have an interview with you. I would like to talk to you. And it's like, obviously, I don't have much time, but obviously I can allocate some time for, for some people on and off. So half an hour, 15 minutes, or any questions as well. Sometimes it's only a question. It doesn't need to have an interview with me and so on. So that will be the best approach to go through. Excellent, Daniel. It's been good to hear about what you do and your, your platform in Citroën and Premium. So forward to uh, catch up with you soon. Fantastic. Thank you so much.